Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to talk about a very sad and shocking news that rocked the world of music. As you may already know, Denny Lane, the guitarist, singer, and songwriter, who was a founding member of both Wings and the Moody Blues, died on December 5, 2023, at the age of 79. He was one of the most talented and versatile musicians of his generation, who had a long and successful career in rock, pop, and R&B. In this video, I want to pay tribute to Denny Lane and share with you some of his achievements and highlights. I also want to show you some of the reactions and condolences from his colleagues, friends, and fans. I also want to tell you how you can listen to some of his best songs and remember his legacy. But before we get into that, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you so much. Denny Lane was born on October 29, 1944, in Birmingham, England, as Brian Frederick Arthur Hines. He took up the guitar as a boy, inspired by gypsy jazz musician Django Reinhardt. He gave his first solo performance as a musician at age 12, and began his career as a professional musician, fronting Denny Lane and the Diplomats, which also included Bev Bevan, future drummer with the Move and Electric Light Orchestra. He changed his name to Denny Lane after his sister's idol, the singer Frankie Lane. In 1964, Lane left the Diplomats and joined the Moody Blues, a new band formed by Ray Thomas and Mike Pinder. He sang lead vocal on the group's first big hit, Go Now, which reached number one in the UK and number 10 in the US. He also co-wrote and sang on other early hits, such as I Don't Want to Go On Without You, From the Bottom of My Heart, I Love You, and Every Day. He left the Moody Blues in 1966 after the release of their first album, The Magnificent Moody's. Lane then pursued a solo career and formed various bands, such as the Electric String Band, Ginger Baker's Air Force and Balls. He also collaborated with other artists, such as Donovan, Lonnie Donegan, and John Mayall. In 1971, he joined Wings, a new band formed by Paul McCartney and his wife Linda, after the breakup of the Beatles. He became McCartney's main collaborator and co-writer, and played guitar, bass, keyboards, and harmonica. He also sang lead or co-lead vocals on several songs, such as I Would Only Smile, No Words, Picasso's Last Words, Drink to Me, Time to Hide, and Again, and Again, and Again. He co-wrote and sang on the band's biggest hit, Mull of Kintyre, which became the best-selling single in the UK until 1984. He stayed with Wings until 1981, when the band dissolved. Lane continued to record and perform as a solo artist and released several albums, such as Japanese Tears, Hometown Girls, Anyone Can Fly, and Valley of Dreams. He also formed the Denny Lane Band and toured with various musicians, such as Joe Walsh, Steve Holly, and Lawrence Juber. He also reunited with some of his former bandmates, such as the Moody Blues, Wings, and the Diplomats, for special occasions and events. He also wrote an autobiography, titled From the Bottom of My Heart to the Top of the Charts. Denny Lane died on December 5, 2023, at the age of 79, at a hospital in Naples, Florida. He was surrounded by his family and loved ones, and he died peacefully. He had been battling lung issues following a bout with COVID-19 and had been in and out of the hospital since October. He also had a benefit concert held for him on November 27, 2023, at the Troubadour in West Hollywood, featuring an all-star lineup of his friends and admirers, such as Susanna Hoffs, Mickey Dolenz, Peter Asher, and former Wings members Denny Sywell and Lawrence Juber. His death was announced by his wife, Elizabeth Hines, who said, He was a wonderful husband, father, grandfather, and great-grandfather. He was also a brilliant musician, who loved his craft and his audience. He was a kind and generous person, 
who touched many lives. We will miss him dearly, but we are proud of his legacy and his spirit. His death was also mourned by his colleagues, friends, and fans, who expressed their sadness and shock over his death, and their gratitude and respect for his life and work. Some of the most touching and heartfelt messages came from Paul McCartney, who said, He was my partner, my friend, and my brother. He was a genius and a legend, and he helped me make some of the best music of my life. He was also a man of humor and grace, and he always had a smile and a song. He was a joy to work with, and a joy to know. He was a remarkable and inspiring man, and I will miss him terribly. Ray Thomas, who said, He was my bandmate, my friend, and my soulmate. He was a star and a pioneer, and he helped me create some of the most beautiful music of my life. He was also a man of courage and integrity, and he always followed his heart and his dreams. He was a pleasure to work with, and a pleasure to know. He was a remarkable and inspiring man, and I loved him very much. Mickey Dolenz, who said, He was my friend, my colleague, and my hero. He was a talent, and a treasure, and he made some of the most wonderful music of my generation. He was also a man of charm and generosity, and he always had a story and a joke. He was a delight to work with, and a delight to know. He was a remarkable and inspiring man, and I admired him very much. Denny Lane was a remarkable and influential musician who had a long and successful career in rock, pop, and R&B. He was also a wonderful and kind person who touched many lives. He will always be remembered as one of the most talented and versatile musicians of his generation, and as a founding member of both Wings and the Moody Blues. Denny Lane left behind a legacy of music and generosity, and he made us all sing and dance. He also taught us how to play and how to write, and how to create unforgettable and lovable songs. He also showed us the meaning of love and service, and how to honor and cherish our bandmates and friends. Denny Lane was a legend and a hero, and we will miss him dearly. But we will also celebrate his life and his work, and we will follow his example and his advice. We will also keep him in our hearts and in our minds, and we will thank him for everything he did for us and for the world. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something new and interesting about Denny Lane and how he showed us the way to music and to life. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. I'll see you next time.